Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. So Christy, let's maybe get started with some clearing uh, based on where you think we need to go and what you're feeling from the group. Can we do that? Yeah, yeah, and and uh, did you say her name was Eileen by chance? Is that what you said? Uh, it looks like I've never heard this name before. Deleen, D E L E N E. See now, the first thing because I'm so intuitive, I my my brain automatically goes for the block. But the first thing, just because she's listening, is uh, it feels like it's attached more to her father, and it has something to do okay. more around contracts that she has with her father, or getting him to help her, or take care of her, or love her, or something. So that's where, the, that's where her block is. <laughs> but let's do the whole group for sure. <laughs> so, okay, so if everybody uh, wants to close your eyes, obviously if you're driving, you can't close your eyes, pull over. And everybody take your energy up to 300 feet above your head where there's literally like a dimension, a portal. We all intuitively know where this dimension and portal is because whenever we connect or close our eyes or pray or meditate, this is where our energy naturally goes to. So everybody knows where home is. <laughs> so take your energy up and see, sense, or feel the light and allow this light to just kind of open. And I like to picture it like a vortex that so just kind of comes in and kind of um, rotor rooters, you know, everything out of us mm. with this light. <laughs> so allow this light to come through your crown, opening up the connection between you and this abundance field, this abundant field of influence that's generous and kind and helpful and aware and will happily show you any block that you have in the way so you can eliminate it today and allow that light to show up through your crown and into your third eye so you can see the truth about where your blocks are, where you are still stuck, even if you've been working at it for a long, long time. Today is the day. <laughs> and allow this light to come through your ears so you can hear guidance. And allow the light to come through your throat. Now, it's kind of interesting to me that our throat mm -hmm. is the smallest channel, right? It's, but it's the right. connection between our heart and our head. And so we really need to open up this channel so that we communicate from a very balanced way between our heart and our head and our intuitive guidance and our knowing. So allow the light to just kind of uh, rotor rooter, just do a little vortex through your throat, opening it up so that channel is very open, very aligned, very balanced. I can feel somebody, some people, a, a lot of women will hold um, a little bit more than men, I'm not sure why, but will hold a little more anger in their throat so I can feel a lot of sadness coming, uh, leaving some people. Okay, so allow the light to come into your heart center. Yes, opening up your ability to have compassion. So you know what? Just thank your previous experience. Thank you for showing up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But now I'm ready and willing and able to jump into the next paradigm. <laughs> wow. Ready to blow up the bridge and just be in a new space. Okay, and allow this light to come into your solar plexus, where all your nerve centers are. So any of you have ever felt dejected, rejected, a little sucker punched, a little taken off, like shocked, you know, any of those kind of mm -hmm. feelings that are in that area, just allow the light to just sort of uh, vortex its way through there, saying bye-bye, thank you so much, but I am ready to be balanced and whole and healed and loved and cared for. And allow this light to come into your stomach area, opening up the places where you feel powerless. Some people have a chakra in that system, that part that looks a little deflated, you know, like a little, uh, like a tire that's deflated. So we want to poof that up, <laughs> very technical term. 
and uh, fill that so that you have the power, the drive, the capabilities, the awareness, all your talents. We're going to ask your talents to open up, the will, and allow the, pl the light to come into your root so that you can actually be literally grounded in a new world you know, the, the higher ver version of yourself. So if you're standing in this old kind of gunky stuff, this old reality field, you know, what would it be like for you guys to be able to just literally kind of jump into a new world? So, and then if we clean out the root, it'll allow us to do that. So allow the light to come all the way through your legs. Now, I like to connect to the center of the planet because there's actually a field or a dimension in the center that feels like mama's love, like the divine mother love, the source energy of, you know, I'm supported, I'm cared for, I'm quite all right, as I am. Mm. I am good to go. <laughs> Imagine what it would be like to literally be completely supported, whatever that feeling means for you guys. All right. And when you're ready, I like to take it like an elevator ride back up. So once you've connected, just kind of, again, open it up so that literally a vortex, a little elevator vortex comes right back up into your legs, into your feet, your legs, your hips, and straight back up into your heart. And I like to fill my field of energy from my heart. So I'm connected now from above and below. So imagine that in your heart you have a 360-degree sunshine of light coming from above and below, and then just fill your field uh, and expand it out about 20, 30, 40 feet. Now, the more abundant you are, the bigger your field of influence will be. So if you're abundant, you're willing to be the light or the catalyst uh, that changes the space in your house, the space in your family, the space in your room. Now, you're not necessarily willing it to change for another person, but your energy is just being the vibration of ascension, being the higher uh, vibration of change and consciousness and fun and love and abundance and all those good things. And what I'm feeling from the group is, I want everybody to t just imagine whatever your last, kind of do this a little bit in your head as close as you can without thinking too much. <laughs> Take the last five years income, whatever that is. Okay, notice the word income, right? Incoming energy, okay, that you're mm -hmm. allowing. And whatever that five years is, I want you to divide it by five and that's about how much energy in the form of money you'll allow in your life. That's a, kind of your limit in a way. And a limit, um, you know, uh, that's why I use the term unlimited abundance, because wouldn't it be cool if it was unlimited, if it was fully open? <laughs> okay, so whatever that number is, that magic number for you guys is, let's, uh, I like to say transmute, because it instantly vaporizes it, it kind of like blows up that old bridge, you can't, you can't transform and go, you know, transform seems a little hard, arduous sometimes or hard. We're going to just transmute it and clear it and evaporate it and disable it and we're done with it. Across all time, dimensions, space, and reality. So whatever that limit is, now, you'll have stories or beliefs or realizations of why you chose that limit. So what was the first age? I'm going to ask you this question because we're going to go to the root of it. What was the first age that you guys decided to start limiting how much income you were allowing into your life? Maybe you heard something from your family or maybe somebody made you feel was jealous or made you feel wrong about your income, whatever that is. Okay, so whatever so whatever age came up for you, there's probably myriads of other patterns kind of laid on top of that. So we're going to ask that all of those, okay, because it's not usually one story that we buy the first time. It's usually hundreds of them. But all of those stories, will you please transmute and clear it across all time, dimension, space, and reality? Okay, that was a good one. <laughs> all those stories where you first started to limit the amount of incoming energy, incoming abundance, incoming cash, okay, transmute and clear it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Now let's work on debt for a minute. There is debt that we can take on that will increase our income eventually, right? And then there is debt that keeps us in jail because we're taking our future earning power, like basically whatever we spend it on now, in the future we have to work it off, which is pretty much like being in jail. You know, you've just now locked in your future to pay off for something in the past. So you've created this kind of funny time warp. So I want you to think about 
Um, again, just do that magic formula of the last five years amount of debt on average per that you you accumulated per year, and then divide that by five. Okay, now I know some people are going, well, do I include my house debt or do I include my credit card debt? But again, it's, you know, I would just include both of it if you have a question because we're going we're gonna to get rid of it. So might as well include both. <laughs> okay, so whatever that number is that, that you kind of put yourself in jail in every year for, will you please, please, please uh, transmute and clear it across all time, dimension, space, and reality? a lot of energy here. A lot of okay, so I can feel you guys have a lot of guilt, a lot of shame, a lot of mm. let down, a lot of like the you know the two lowest energies are guilt and shame. So we we got a lot on this one. So I'm really glad I pulled it up. Okay, so all the guilt and shame, you guys. All right, time to let go. Anguish, pain, trauma. Okay, transmute and cleared across all time, dimensions, space, and reality. Now, what's the first age in which you started to accumulate debt? Now, this is an interesting question because it might even be emotional debt that comes to mind. So whatever person, place, thing, idea, event that you started indebting yourself to at the very first age, what age is that? Okay, interesting. Most people started to become in debt because they thought it was good. Is is what I'm getting a feeling in the in the in the room, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, okay, so everything this is, will you guys transmute it and clear it across all time, dimension, space, and reality? Okay, any other energetic debt that you guys are holding that's basically barring you from your abundance at some very easy level? Would you transmute and clear it across all time, dimension, space, reality? Now I can feel another layer in. in people have anger, just sheer distress, fear, and anger regarding this whole being in debt. Because debt energy will really kind of lock people up in handcuffs. It's kind of a, that's really what that energy does. Okay, so everything that is, everywhere you guys feel like you're in handcuffs and you're angry about it, torn about it, terrified about it, and all your justifications about why it was good to do, okay, because you had to talk yourself into it at some level. So all the reasons why it was a good idea, will you please transmute and clear it? Across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Lots of justifiers. You guys justify your debt very well. <laughs> There's lots of stories about that. Okay, one more time. Transmute and clear it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Okay, I'm trying to bring in a lightness to it. I can feel some people are getting a little irritated when I'm bringing this energy up. So if you're one of the ones that's getting irritated with this energy, just kind of really like like think of expanding and letting in a lot more energy right now. Okay. So today is the day you're, you can be over it. Today is the day you can let it go. Today is the day the debt energy cycle can end. Okay? So everything that is, just transmute and clear it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. I've had people change their whole debt situation in literally a couple months. Pay off their houses in a little a couple months. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's bring in, I, would, I hear, let's bring in, let's just activate. So now t- sometimes there's clearing energy and sometimes there's addition energy. So let's bring in the energy that, like a magic uh, wand in some ways, opens up all your gifts, your talents, your abilities to create and generate a lot of income. Okay, so think about asking the universe, what would it take for you to bring me a lot of income What would it be like for you to open the door to my new abundance? What would it take for you to right now give me a download, an answer, an explanation, a direction, a know-how in bringing in extra income? Now, sometimes it will come in the form of common sense, but sometimes people think, well, it's common sense, but it could be your intuitive hit. So be open to however it comes to you. So right now, if you were going to bring in um, an extra $10,000, $20,000, Okay, ask yourself, just allow it to kind of burble up in your head, what is one thing I could do right now to bring in an extra ten to $20,000? What is one thing I could do right now to bring in an extra ten to $20,000? Okay, now if you didn't have an answer in your head in two seconds, that's okay. I actually watched all you guys kind of receive the download. So it might come in the form of a dream or a sign or a friend telling you something, okay? So just be open, universe. 
please show me no matter what it takes, even if I'm hard-headed, right? <laughs> even if I'm hard-headed, figure out a way to show me. I am open to the receipt of the information. I am open to the receipt of the know-how. I am open to the receipt of the exact person, place, thing, idea, or event that is going to open the door for abundance to me. Okay, that feels pretty good. I kind of felt you guys kind of click in. Okay, so your homework is to really just keep asking the universe, please show me. And you can pick any number. I just picked out that number because I think people would be very cheerful if an extra 10, 20 grand showed up from somewhere. <laughs> but uh, you can pick any number you would like to invite in and uh, just really work with the invitation of asking for that to show up and then receiving the valuable knowledge and know-how on how to make that happen. Because I always believe uh, in the premise of you have to take massive action. You can't just say, I want to win the lottery and not go win it, buy the lottery ticket. You know, Somewhere you have to maybe do something, or even if a friend buys it for you, you still have to open your hand to receive it. <laughs> you know, There's yes. some action yes. that has to happen. So, Okay, and when you guys are ready, just send a blessing to everybody, that everybody on this uh, call and everybody who listens to any uh, future recording of this gets exactly what they came here to get, gets the exact door open, gets the exact block cleared, gets the exact uh, awareness to open, whatever it is. Okay, cool. I felt that. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.